Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 3 best budget cameras to buy in 2024. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. All the product links are given in the description below, so make sure to check them out if you are interested. Let's get started. At number 3, we have the Panasonic Lumix G7KS. This mirrorless camera has a 16-megapixel 4-third sensor capable of 4K video recording. It has an improved autofocus system, 2.36 million dot EVF, and a fully articulated 3-inch touch-sensitive LCD. It can shoot up to 8 frames per second and has Wi-Fi for remote shooting and image transfer. The Panasonic Lumix G7KS is great for those who want a lightweight camera that can shoot high-quality video. However, its plastic build is a downside and APS-C rivals offer better dynamic range. At number 2, we have the Canon EOS Rebel SL3. This camera is the smallest and lightest EOS DSLR camera to date, equipped with a 24-megapixel APS-C sensor and dual-pixel CMOS AF. It has an optical viewfinder with a secondary 9-point autofocus system and can shoot up to 5 frames per second. It also has 4K video recording capability. The Canon EOS Rebel SL3 is perfect for beginners who are looking to get serious about photography. It's comfortable to hold, fun to use, and has a useful guide mode to help you learn photography's basics in real time. However, its optical viewfinder is smaller than competing mirrorless EVFs, and there is limited focus area when using the viewfinder. And finally, at number 1, we have the EOS Rebel T8i. This camera is equipped with a 24.1 megapixel APS-C sensor and a Digic 8 image processor. It has an optical viewfinder with a 45-point all-cross-type autofocus system and face detection. It can shoot up to 7 frames per second and has 4K video recording capability. The EOS Rebel T8i is great for those who want a camera that can shoot high-quality photos and videos. Its optical viewfinder with a 45-point all-cross-type autofocus system and face detection makes it easy to capture great shots. However, its plastic build is a downside, and APS-C rivals offer better dynamic range. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews. Also, let me know in the comments which camera you would buy or if you have any questions about them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.